Since 1947, Casey Industrial has been helping manufacturers grow with the demands and adapt to the changes in the production of a multitude of forest products. Casey Industrial recently teamed up with North American-based Uniboard to assist them in their efforts in transporting an MDF plant from La Bay, Quebec, and incorporating the components onto their existing facility in Montcure, North Carolina. The Montcure production line incorporated both relocated and refurbished equipment, as well as new machine centers. The relocation of the MDF line is Casey's third major installation at the Montcure site. Casey installed the original fiberboard plant in the early 1970s, the particle board line in the mid-1980s, and finally the relocation of the idle MDF plant from Quebec to Montcure. The relocation package uh, consisted of, of the majority of the primary pieces of equipment required for the process. They also relocated all the electrical wire and cable, and we reused portions of that that would meet code and was, was acceptable to be used. The engineering for the relocation was quite a significant task and was carried out by Mid-South Engineering as directed by the Central Engineering Office at Flighterer, Uniboard's European parent company. Casey Industrial, being the primary construction contractor, was responsible for the bulk of the construction requirements. Casey had the ability to offer uh, to do the, the concrete work, the electrical work, the mechanical work, and the piping all under one umbrella, Casey and that allows the client to have one source responsibility. It's easier to coordinate, it's easier to interface with one contractor as opposed to multiple contractors. Coordination was a critical component in the success of the relocation. There are often obstacles that require precise navigation when constructing a plant that consists of new and used equipment, especially when that plant is to be integrated onto an existing facility. One of the, the biggest aspects was that we had to continue receiving raw materials, transporting the finished goods out of the plant during the entire construction process. And we also have services that we are sharing between the two plants, like fire protection systems, air, and, and, and a few other components that make the whole construction process a little bit more challenging. Some of the drawings that were supplied to Casey were actually in French. and. Uh, Working together with the, the guys at Uniboard, we were able to get those translated into something that was usable for us. Ultimately, we managed to, to, to do it and to move our way through the project without any major inconveniences. In order to appreciate the magnitude of the relocation of a plant this size, it's important to have an understanding of the plant process. Wood chips are delivered by trucks that are unloaded by a tilt truck dump. The chips are then transferred by a conveyor belt to an outdoor storage area. The raw material is recovered by front end loaders as needed and transported to a reclaim pit. The chips are then pushed onto a conveyor system to begin the automated process. The chips pass under a large magnet to remove any metal and then the chips fall onto a screen which will remove any over and undersized materials. The overs are reprocessed while the unders are burned as fuel for the dryer system. The acceptable size chips are transferred to another conveyor under another magnet and then continue their journey to the refining area where the chips are ground into fiber, dried, mixed with resin and then transported to a forming bin that lays down a continuous fiber mat. The mat is transported by conveyor to a continuous Diethenbacher press that presses the board to a predetermined thickness between two heated steel belts. The pressed boards are then cooled and transported to the sanding area. Large Steinemann belt sanders sand the boards to the desired finish thickness. After sanding, the boards are cut to size, bundled, and then loaded onto trucks for delivery. Many people may not realize that the manufacture of medium density fiberboard is environmentally responsible. Most of the raw materials used by Uniboard in the process are byproducts from other plants, and waste materials from the MDF plant are also recycled. Rejected fiber is burned as fuel and unsatisfactory boards can be reprocessed back into fiber. Uniboard also went through significant measures in order to minimize the emissions from the plant. We installed a scrubber system for the dryer exhaust gases and also a, a similar and smaller in capacity but also scrubber system for the press exhaust. We also install a very sophisticated water treatment system. At this site or at this location we are not allowed to 
to release any liquid effluents to the extern or to the exterior or out of the boundaries of the plant. So we had to install a very sophisticated water treatment system as well. This project is an excellent example of corporate stewardship due to Uniboard's implementation of the three R's of good environmental practice. They reduce the carbon footprint from the reuse of the mod cure site and LaBay equipment, and they manufacture from recycled materials while also reducing emissions. Another key element throughout the construction of the plant was safety. Both Uniboard and Casey Industrial have very strict standards, and Casey Industrial's view on safety is particularly unique. Casey has a philo philosophy that I am responsible for safety. Everyone buys in and everyone participates. Everyone is responsible for their own safety. I am responsible. Attention towards safety procedures as well as the coordination of all parties involved allowed Casey to meet the demanding goals set forth by Uniboard. Definitely one of the goals was for us to produce board by February the 19th. and We produced board by February the 17th. That was, if you like, the most significant milestone. But we achieved that with a very good safety record. We never had any serious injuries during the entire project or the startup. And that's very significant from my view. We never had any major environmental out of compliance situation either. So I would say we achieved a very challenging goal with, very, with a very safe and environmentally clean record. The satisfaction that we gained from being able to A, take a plant that was sitting idle in another country for that matter, bring it into the United States, put people to work here in North Carolina, and using a product that's, that could years ago was considered waste. I think all those things are great, but I think the real satisfaction for everyone on the project team that came from this job was the fact that we took a plant and relocated it and it looks and operates as a new plant. As the panel board production technology evolves, so does Casey Industrial. And it's because of this that clients rely on Casey's Forest Products experience. Casey Industrial built on ingenuity.